Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all well. It is boiling hot. Uh, my phone says it's 26 degrees, feels like 27. And we are baking. It's lovely. It's beautiful out. Um, but it's warm. <laughs> um, it, it's going to go back down about 10 degrees tomorrow though. I think it's going to be, well, 18 or something like that tomorrow. And rain. And then it's going to not go above 19. Or next week can be a mixture of... Um, excuse me showers clouds sunshine all that kind of thing typical uh british summer really <laughs> after today but today is gorgeous it's really lovely out um i've just taken some oh bb too too uh i've just taken some photos of tristan um i put a stripy romper on him and he looked really gorgeous so i wanted to take some photos and then it started to spread then i took some photos of um uh, seren as well and um, Narnia and then uh, by the time I'd done that I was right in the mood to make a video so here I am so I thought I'd do part four is it now yes it is part four of um, showing you the babies and comparing it you know to compare, compare all the different scalps we got that out eventually um, so today I've got the uh, troublesome duo <laughs> so we've got um, James and David on the left and um, Abby Rose on the right. Um, uh, uh, let's see where should we start. Um, he's um, the Lily Beth sculpt by Anne Timmerman, and she is. Uh, you know, you'll know who she is, and she Katie Marie, ever popular sculpt, um, also by Anne Timmerman. Uh, I bought Abby first. I wanted a, a, a little girl toddler, and then um, I thought she was lovely. Well, I still think she's lovely, but I, I liked her so much and really enjoyed having her. And I thought I wanted to make a boy to go with her and have a little, little pair of boy and girl um, toddler together, toddlers together. Um, I decided I didn't want to root his hair the same. Um, she's got human hair and a dark blonde uh, and it's a funny colour. Today it looks more like the colour... I chose when I was looking online but sometimes in the light it can look really strawberry and then other times less it's really strange it's one of those uh, colors and there goes a siren an ambulance oh dear um so um yeah he makes me lose my thread when they do things like that <laughs> and then I did her first like I was saying and it was the first time I'd ever rooted um uh, human hair and then when it came to him I did have a blonde first human hair and I started to root it and it just wasn't him so then I went for mohair for the softer white uh, mohair a uh, toehead blonde as you call it in America I don't know why do you call it toehead blonde what does that mean um it's just like white blonde isn't it but um, I just thought, no, it's, it's, it's not him, is it? I fancied like a little fringe and, uh, you know, over to the side and, and like a little sort of, uh, um, um, like sort of preppy sort of almost sort of cut. But um, I, as soon as I started rooting it, I could see it just wasn't him. So I changed it to mohair and he's got um, the uh, light blonde um, Susan Nagel mohair which i i love her mohair if i can get it um if i, if I uh, um can't get it then when i used to root all my babies then i would look for something else but um that's my favorite i do like that i've used that since i started um uh, reborn in, in late 2007 early 2008 somewhere around there um but um yeah, the only difference in the sculpts is he looks a little bit taller than her and he is. And I'm not sure how, but um, I'm looking at them now sat on the bed. And I, I do think that maybe he's slightly bigger than her. Maybe the legs look slightly longer, but I don't know if that's because he got shorts on. But um, they are exactly the same shape. The hands are the, sh are the same. The um, feet are the same. The legs are the same. It's all the same. He ha she has got the body on that comes free with the kit. And he has got a replacement body because the first one he had, I don't know what was going on with it, but he had the longest um, middle part and his body, you know, his, his torso in the world. And he looked really weird. Um, uh, so I changed it. I bought another one for him. And he looks much better now, much more in proportion. Um, 
they've got a nice pair of shoulders on them as you can see uh, it is a full uh, arms and full legs but um, they do it doesn't show so much with her because she's got dresses on but um, there's, there is just a little bit at the top I th yeah just there's only a tiny bit but just puts the arms out that little bit more doesn't it um, she doesn't actually need that uh, vest on but I don't like to see the body it is under there and I don't like to see it through the gaps so I'd rather put a vest or a t-shirt underneath it's just my own uh, particular thing and as I like this style of dress because you can you know do anything with it um, it's more like a pinafore isn't it as such so that works well uh, I made this dress for her summer before last um, it's really pretty I like that I'm looking for something um, that was similar to um, Tristan and uh, Tristan's um, Jameson's <laughs> I blame the heat uh, that was looking I was looking for something that would coordinate in with um, Jameson's outfit um, I bought that outfit from um, George Asda. It's the shorts off one set actually, and then the top is a separate T-shirt that was sold on its own. Um, but uh, I really like that. Uh, they've got a couple of outfits that I've kept from when they were first made a couple of years ago, because um, I just like them and they're and they're nice um, and they're similar to just haven't survived the time because they've ended up in charity or given away because. Um, you know, you get certain things you've got your favourites for, don't you? And then you you buy other things. But um, our babies don't wear clothes out. And part of the hobby is enjoying buying clothes, isn't it? And dressing them up and showing them off and taking photos and all that kind of thing. Um, so you need, like, at least a, a little, you know, a wardrobe. And you can't, you don't want the same half a dozen outfits constantly, do you? And you try and take photos and, and do theme Thursdays and all the rest of it. Um... So they have a drawer, and then once the drawer gets jam-packed, um, it's left alone for a while, I don't buy anything for them. And what was happening is I've been buying lots of little babies' clothes because I've been increasing the number of little babies over the last year. Or, yeah, more or less a year, really, since about July, August time last year I started, I think. And then um, the older ones are all still got the same thing so Narnia's got um, the um, wardrobe of clothes I bought her when I first made her and I've made a couple of dresses for her since even um, Madison uh, and I've had her since 2015 somewhere around there I still got an awful lot of the same clothes she had at the start and then I've added a few of things as the years have gone by and I've made her a few dresses um, but um, even her stuff has not really changed and uh, these two are the same and Saren well Saren I had to make a wardrobe for because um, I didn't do anything with her did I for a long time she was kept as a, a memento really you know as something special because she was mum's and I didn't interact with her because I was always afraid of uh, you know damaging her over time and that she would uh, last better if I didn't do anything with her and then uh, after all this time and I thought well it's a waste really so she's part of the crew now so she had to have um, little some clothes so Tiny Angels Boutique um, with all its pre-loved clothes is absolutely amazing for that um, I did have a look on there the other day but um, it's not really there's a few things on there but a lot of it is three to six months and I haven't got a three to six month size baby boy or girl so um, I've been you know, picking, I can, uh, picking, um, I'm not sure, so I just left it for now. <laughs> um, yeah, so um, they've got the same colour eyes in, the same pale blue. Um, he's painted a little bit more fair than her because he's more blonde. Um, and really, that's just about it. They, um, they're they both lovely sculpts. I really like the fact that she's got two little teeth in the bottom. Um, that was so strange the first time ever painting little tiny teeth. Um, I've pierced her ears. They do have uh, different ears because the whole head is different on each of them, their expression. But at the same time, they look similar. Um, his hair throws it off a bit because they haven't got the same color, kind of hair and the same colour. But their features really, that you can always tell it's the same artist, can't you, each time. Even if they really do a different type of sculpt. Because everybody's got their own way of doing things, haven't they? So... Um, I, I love these two together. I always can imagine them getting into all sorts of mischief if they were real kids. Uh, and it's probably a good job they're not. 
<laughs> but they always look lovely. I always enjoy taking photographs of them and um, I always enjoy uh, dressing them up and uh, sitting them on the bed like this and uh, just, um, uh, you know, taking photos, interacting with them, you know, playing with their hair, doing all sorts of things. They're just a sweet pair. Um, his, um, I'm on the wrong side to show you, but his crab on his t-shirt, <laughs> if I can get past the tripod without knocking it over. There you go. His crab on his t-shirt. He's got a um, little uh, bunt in there, look, that says cute. And then he's got this crab, which has got like the uh, armbands on for when he goes swimming. And he's got his um, spade there and his bucket over there. Look, they're all appliqued on. And then when you open this up, it says little nipper. Isn't that just the cutest thing? <laughs> I love that. I love his chunky legs. Got nice chunky legs. Um, and she has two. She's got nice chunky legs. But um, like if you look from there down, um, I don't know actually. There is a slight difference. Look, even though she's a bit squished then. Um, he is a little bit chunkier and a little bit bigger than her, I think. Um, which is quite interesting. I've often looked at him and thought, hmm, he is bigger. No, he isn't bigger. Yes, he is. No, he isn't. Depends what he's got on. Um, because <laughs> she's sat now. But, uh, look, she's all sort of... Uh... <laughs> oh, she was posed nicely to start, wasn't she? <laughs> oh, bless. Let's turn you back this way a little bit, sweetheart. There you are. There you go. Put the front of your dress down. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, so they, they are lovely sculpts. Um, uh, Diane from the Hummingbird Nest has just got this one as a girl. And I didn't even realise it was the same sculpt to start until she said. I was trying to think, I was thinking, what sculpt is that? Because um, she looks very like my um, granddaughter Evie. Except for my granddaughter Evie has got a little bit more of a, a different shaped nose. But when she got the baby out and sat her down, and I'm looking at the baby, I'm thinking, who does that baby remind me of? And then I realised then, apart from the fact she's got uh, blonde hair, but with the fringe and everything, and she really reminds me of Evie, especially when she was a little bit smaller. Um, so that was really tempting then to uh, think about getting one and doing it with darker hair and seeing if it would still look like Evie, because that would be nice, wouldn't it? Because she's a lovely little um, chunky bundle as well. She's a little sweetheart. She's uh, They're back in school now, which I don't think is a good idea, but what can you say? Um, but before they broke up, when we went on lockdown, um, she's only four. She had her first year of big school. And um, she's taken her uh, hand wash to school every day. And every day before they went for lunch, she would insist on going around all the other children and giving them a little bit of hand wash to, to stop the bugs getting them. Um, and you say to stop, what she used to say, uh, is to stop the bugs getting in their tummy, uh, bless her. So she's looking after everybody. So how are you going to keep her on social distancing at school? I have no clue. <laughs> because she's always looking after everybody and mothering them, uh, bless her. And they're probably, some of them are older than her because her birthday's right at the end of the year. Um, she's five uh, this month. And the school year starts September, isn't it? And she's five this month. So she is one of the babies of the year. She was only just four when she started big school. Um, so a lot of them, like if they're five in September and October and stuff, they're coming up to six and she's only just coming up to five. And yeah, she's mothering them all. <laughs> oh, bless. It's just her nature. She just wants to look after everybody. And then well, if they're mean to her, she gets really upset then. Bless her. Yeah, so these are lovely scops. Um, if you're thinking about a toddler... Um, I would highly recommend these. Um, they, the way their legs are and everything, you can either have them on a chair, on a bean bag, or just sit on a flat surface uh, because they're not straight out in front. There's a lot of lovely toddlers, but for me personally, I don't like the straight out in front legs. Um, it just looks so artificial. And then the rest of the doll will be beautiful. Lovely face and everything, but I just can't, you know, personally, I can't do the straight out legs because it just doesn't seem natural, does it? Kids are always moving around and climbing around and, you know, the, the way they sit and everything. They don't sit with their legs out in front very often, do they? In fact, they don't sit still very much, do they? If they're anything like uh, my lot. There's always something. They're always wriggling and fidgeting and moving, aren't they? Um, you're flashing your knickers there, look, mate. 
can see a little bit of his cloth body. Yeah, but they are um, absolutely lovely. Um, love these two. They always sit together. It's very rarely I've got them sat apart. They always sit together. Um, and then uh, they they sit they sat along my um, worktop in the back room at the moment in the, in the craft room. When I'm not using the um, cutting mat part, you know, um, then I put the changing mat on there, and I put a blanket on top, and then I sit these two and Saren on top of there. So uh, poor old Saren plays third wheel to these two. It feels like when they're sat there because you identify these two as a pair and her separately. So, like, you go in the room and you'll find yourself turning her head towards them, like, see if she's looking in conversation, because she looks so like, um, well, why am I here? <laughs> Sat on the end, because of the way, you know, you think of these two. But, uh, yeah, so there we go. So, uh, I've not been on for a while. Um, it's been, oh, since Thursday, was it, for, um, yeah, so it's nearly the biggest part of a week. Uh, we've been doing other things, uh, been chilling a bit, been sewing. Um, I'm starting to um, work out how to make bags. I've made one and got one in, in the pipeline that I'm making out of a pair of jeans. I'm recycling a pair of jeans. I'm making a bag out of it. Uh, they're grey jeans. It looks quite nice at the moment. I'm going to call it my cowboy bag. <laughs> um, and also we've been decorating. We've been painting our hallway. So we've been really busy. Um, I'll show you my bag. It's just on the side because we went out this morning. Just put on the bed and show you. Let's put it on your lap, shall we? Oh, I don't know if that's going to work, actually. But uh, there we are. It's pretty cool, isn't it? <laughs> Said me. Um, I got an idea too, and I thought, if I... Um, you know when you put the straps on with the these clips and the D-rings? Um that um, you can make as many bags as you wanted to and when you put the D-rings on you can just take the strap off and go from bag to bag uh, and you know so anything that matches with this you could just take the strap off and carry on instead of making loads of straps and then you can just um, put the bag away a lot easier as well can't you because you can take the stuff out and lay it flat especially the cloth ones so that was an idea I had and uh, do that so i had um it was basically i got the piece of fabric um to have a play like you always do when you make something for the first time to have a play and then i thought oh i was looking in my drawer and i haven't bought um, fabric for ages i've been using up the odd meters four meters i had left and um using up small pieces for masks and things like that and then um i was looking but luckily enough i found a piece of um the um, pink polka dot that was big enough to um, fit inside and it looks all right I was worried at first it might look too little girly you know too young but um, it's all right got my things in there got plenty of junk in there and it's my um, tissue case all the family got these I always make those I made the monster ones recently for the kids and my um, folder that I keep my medical things in and then other bits and pieces and then in here I've got my um I don't know how much this you're seeing my little bag that I made to put my hand sanitizer in and go in there um so it's nice to have um like things you've made yourself isn't it I'm going to do the next one a little bit bigger even though it looks big enough on her lap um I'm going to try the next one a little bit bigger so it's more for like running around as you might call it you know and like dated like if you um want to carry more things with you or 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 if you're going to the beach with the kids i wish you know this sort of a thing um where you might want a little bit more room but i used this one this morning for the first time when i had to go for my blood test and um it was absolutely fine um it's quite a good size actually and uh, usually I'm like this person that goes around with a handbag that's like half the size of my flat. And um, <laughs> uh, and um, I've got everything in it but the kitchen sink. You know, if you, I've usually got wet wipes and tissues and medications and a notebook and a pen and a measuring um, tape, a wind-up measuring tape. Um, I've got my um, key for the disabled toilet in there. Uh, a diary, uh, my purse, my uh, little manicure set in case I break a nail. Uh, there's all sorts in there. Um, 
<laughs> and it's all going to fit in as small space as possible and get it that you have you have to be able to get into your bag to find stuff as well and I found this this shape was actually really good because um, when I open it up I can see everything and I can just get it out I just like to make sure my purse is at the bottom just to make because it just feels more secure if it's down the bottom but uh, there you go so I hope you enjoyed seeing the babies um there you go sit you up a little bit and uh, get back up there so you can see them and mind my uh thing there you go oh so sweet and they look at her she always looks like she's uh, you know he's listening and she's chatting which is quite sweet uh and they always look like that wherever they're sat uh, in whichever room and they're sat together they always look like she's chatting and he's listening to her don't they um, but yeah, they're lovely sculpts and um, they, it's a lovely vinyl to paint. Um, it takes a paint really well and they've got nice features and um, and uh, they're just really lovely. It's a really nice uh, and they're nice to pose because of the way their legs are, and arms are, are bent and things and their hands. Um, they've got, you know, you've got quite a bit of potential there for um, either just putting in like they can put their arm on their knee like as if they're just relaxed or they can um, see like uh, that or you know just whatever you want really they're, they're pretty um, oh, I don't know what the word is <laughs> pretty easy should we go for to uh, pose and things they take um, 12 to 18 months clothes um, and I've had some size 3 shoes and some size 4 in UK sizes and they fit. Um, I've had some 12 to 18 months pram shoes, you know, the soft shoes, and they've actually been too big. And I've had some nine to 12 months that have been big enough. It just depends on the uh, maker because they have got small feet. Um, but I would say they're like a three and a half to four more because the um, little red shoes that I got from Next for Abby when she was new, um, when I was a bit of a tight fit and I was like, mm, should I put them on or not? Because I was worried about the paint. Um, didn't have to force them on, but you know, they didn't just easily slide on. And then now they're Seren's because Seren's feet are just a tiny bit smaller, a bit narrower, and they fit on her perfectly because these two have got little broad feet. But um, yeah, so I was looking at some shoes recently from in Matsaland. They've got some nice uh, sandals and things. I want a pair of um, sandals for her to go with her dresses through the summer and they're only four pound but um i wasn't sure whether to get nine to twelve months or twelve to eighteen because um you know i couldn't go in and look at them look for the size so we are allowed to go i think the shops are opening again now this week but um i'm not really keen i don't know whether the temptation will get the better of me at some point and just for a wonder because only last week i was saying that i really miss being able to go and browse baby clothes and browse clothes and girly things and you know all the normal things you take for granted you don't even think about you just look when you want to you know sort of thing but um yeah so we'll see so uh i just uh staying safe still at the moment because that's more important and just going out when we need to and just uh, just being careful uh, that's all you can do isn't it so I hope you're all well I hope you're all keeping safe as well um, you know just remember that um, you know you don't have to do what anybody else says about going out and that kind of thing if you don't want to don't go and uh, take your mask if you want to that kind of a thing don't worry about anybody else follow your own instincts don't let them railroad you into thinking you've got to go back to normal now or you know normal as such and um, take a chance if you want to still follow lockdown or you just still want to be careful you do it you, you know you only get one life and you've got to look after it so uh, i'm off for now uh it's been lovely to just come on and say hi and um just ca you know just catch up and st and make the video i've enjoyed that uh, and i shall be back soon um Maybe tomorrow, I don't know. I'm going to do some more painting in the hallway tomorrow, so I might be too tired or not have enough time. We'll see. But um, I might come back tomorrow. Um, and then Thursday, we're going shopping, click and collect. Uh, I might do a theme Thursday after that. I haven't looked what it is yet this week. I've been so busy doing other things, I don't even know what theme Thursday is this week. So bye for now, everybody. Um, 
have a lovely rest of today enjoy the sunshine while it lasts if you're in the uk hoping not too warm actually because it's hot for us we're not acclimatized to it are we and um, just enjoy your day enjoy your babies and uh, give them all a hug from me and um, we shall pop off for now so bye for now take care everyone lots of love look after yourselves and each other bye